从二月二十八号到三月二号，我们为大家整理相关的战战况。在战况里头，很重要的，俄罗斯这一最近这一个礼拜，主要是攻打南部的港口，希望能够控制出涅伯河的出海口的城市，还有黑海旁边的几个城市，成为沿岸的主要各方面交战的关键。另外呢，它也围困了亚速海的港口。马里乌波尔，而打击马里乌波尔的目的，他是希望能够让俄罗斯本土跟克里米亚可以完全连接起来。Tonight, Russian shells pummeling a residential neighborhood in Kharkiv, the second largest city in Ukraine. Officials there saying dozens of civilians were killed in potentially the worst single attack of this war. Human Rights Watch accusing the Russians of using cluster bombs on the city. If verified, a deliberate attack on civilian areas would be a war crime. The UN reports more than 100 civilians have been killed, children not spared. This frantic scene showing doctors trying to save a young girl's life. The Associated Press reporting the six-year-old died after Russian forces shelled the city of Mariupol. Show this to Putin. The eyes of this child and crying doctors. 俄国进攻乌克兰第五天，二月二十八号，基辅最低温摄氏零下二度，更多平民在战火下丧命。我代表同天在白俄罗斯边境举行第一场停火谈判，但只达成还会持续对话的共识。谈判同时，交火持续。俄军进攻基辅受挫，重炮轰炸有约一百五十万人口的东北城市哈尔科夫，成功攻下南部亚速港港口城市别尔江斯克。New satellite images today show a miles-long column of Russian armed vehicles and tanks just 70 miles from the center of Kyiv, but Putin's army being met head-on. The Ukrainians releasing this drone video from outside of the capital, claiming to have knocked out part of the Russian column, burned out vehicles littering the roads around Kyiv. Kyiv is the main place of the main attack, which is the main attack of our armed 俄国大军逼近首都基辅东北方道路，出现阵容浩大的俄军军队，包括装甲车和补给车，近六十五公里长，展现俄军力量，先声夺人，还可能切断连外道路，让首都陷入孤立状态。基辅东北方的主要干道条条通往白俄罗斯。早在开战前数周，俄军就在白俄和乌克兰边境集结，不断扩充军事设备，以军演为名，行入侵之时。Ukraine five days in. U.S. authorities tonight believe that Vladimir Putin was not expecting the resistance he has seen from the Ukrainians, nor was he expecting the U.S. and the West that NATO would put up a united front quite like what we've seen. With the Russian advance slowed by a fierce Ukrainian defense, there are fears Putin will intensify his attacks, already raising tensions with the West even higher by putting Russia's nuclear forces on heightened alert. It's clear the Russians have not made the progress that they wanted to make by day five. Russian forces pounded cities in Ukraine today as the war raged for a sixth day. And there are clear signs this morning that the Kremlin is shifting its strategy on the ground. More troops moving in and the fighting is intensifying. 俄国进攻乌克兰第六天，三月一号，基辅最高温摄氏一度，乌克兰民众持续在空袭警报声下迎接一天的开始。近六十五公里长的俄军车队，可能因为燃料和食物短缺拖延，缓慢逼近首都哈尔科夫的攻击日益加剧。东南部港口城市马里乌波尔市遭俄军包围，一旦濒临亚速海的马里乌波尔沦陷的话，俄军将可整合位于西南方的克里米亚。军队连接东北方的顿内茨克和卢甘斯克，扩大军事部署。The eastern city of Kharkiv is taking the brunt of it. Ukrainian officials say Russia targeted a government administration building with a missile strike. Surveillance footage captured the attack, a direct hit, and a massive fireball. We're being bombed by the Russians. We're all afraid. Why us? We're all simple civilians. They destroyed a residential building. The rockets hit, and many peaceful residents died. Putin and Lavrov are bandits and should be tried. Not far away, a Russian missile slamming into Kyiv's main TVM radio tower, captured in these images posted on social media. 
The strike reportedly hitting the site of the Babi Yar Holocaust Memorial, which honors the memory of 33,000 Jews slaughtered by the Nazis 80 years ago. As we begin again with breaking news as the war in Ukraine enters its seventh day. This morning, widespread destruction from Russian airstrikes in several key cities, including the capital of Kyiv. Since the war began, many of them are now on gurneys, hiding underground in the basement, like little Yarek, who has fluid on his brain. <laughs> 俄国进攻乌克兰第七天，三月二号，基辅阴天降小雪，俄军加强火力轰炸首都。基辅南方火车站和伊壁斯酒店周围被轰炸，国防部就在不远处。被俄军包围的哈尔科夫又经历新一波空袭，基辅和哈尔科夫都持续奋战中。俄军在南部取得战略优势，马里乌波尔经历十五小时以上的持续轰炸。副市长形容马里乌波尔濒临。人道浩劫，黑海港口城市位于涅伯河旁的赫尔松，成为开战以来乌克兰首座失守的主要城市。俄军攻占作为往北攻的基地，从海上运送补给和车队。It is important, Anderson, for two reasons. Partly because this was a strategic place for Ukraine to hold on to, the route up from Russian-held Crimea towards the rest of the country, a vital bridge next to it. But also, too, because it gives us an idea as to exactly how Russia is going to. Function in these big population centers. This was the university building in Kharkiv. The target may have been the police headquarters next door. The Russians pride themselves on their precision bombing. So, how is that working out? But Russia has now admitted that it has lost almost 500 soldiers, a rare admission. Over 2,000 people have been killed throughout the country since the Russian invasion began a week ago, according to Ukrainian officials. Despite lack of military help, people defend their cities even with bare hand barricades and Molotov cocktails. In Starobilsk and Energodar, people are preparing to meet Russian occupiers. They are actually blocking the movement of the convoys with everything they have. And the Pentagon confirming the 40-mile-long Russian military convoy on the outskirts of Kyiv is indeed stalled, but saying the Russians are likely regrouping. U.S. and Western officials also warning that Russia may be shifting to what they call a slow annihilation of the Ukrainian military. More ceasefire talks are due to be held tomorrow, but what's the point when Ukrainians are preparing for another night like this? Просто одумайтесь вы, что вы делаете. Мы мирные люди. Мы хотим мира. Мы мы хотим жить, воспитывать детей. Почему? За что? За что нас убивают?